Hmm. I wonder how tall it is to the top of that cake. I wonder if I could use math to figure out how to make the angry bird hit the top of that cake. Hmm. I know angry birds travel in the path of a parabola. I wonder what angle I need to pull this bird back to hit the top of that cake. Let's try out. Let's try that black angry bird. Okay, so if I pull him back just right, let him go. Is he going to hit the cake? Oh, I missed it. Oh, oh start. Oh, it's going to get the bottom cake. Oh, it got that first cake. What can you get top of the cake? Okay, I'm going to try it again with that yellow angry bird. Okay, I'm going to pull him back. Here he goes. Oh, there's a parabola again. I wonder how tall that parabola is. Oh, I missed it all. Dang it. Okay, I'm going to try the white bird. That white bird's going to go. There he goes. Another parabola. And it hit the cake. Oh, come on. It's coming down. There we go. 3,000, 5,000 points. Yes. Hey, it's me, Miss Morales. And here today I'm trying to graph quadratics. Hey, I'm wondering if I look at that top of that birthday cake from the Angry Birds game, um, how tall is this point right here? And if that's the top of a parabola, my next question is, how high is a parabola? How do you get to the top? And if I wanted to hit the top of that birthday cake, how high would that be? Well, that has to do with finding the vertex of a parabola and actually graphing it out. So I have an equation. I'd like you to write this equation on your paper. Uh, y is equal to negative 1x squared plus 6x plus 2. Now, if we're going to want to graph that parabola, first of all, you can see that the coefficient of the x squared term is a. The coefficient of the x term is b. b is 6, right? a is negative 1, and c is 2. When you want to find the axis of symmetry, AOS, axis of symmetry, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to look at your equation, identify what b is, and identify what a is, and then plug it into this equation opposite of b over 2a. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, I'm going to say, okay, well, that's equal to the opposite of b. Well, b is 6 over 2 times whatever a is. a is negative 1. So that's 2 times negative 1. Now, if I do the math on there, that's negative 6 over negative 2, which equals negative 3. Now, that's going to be the x-coordinate of your vertex. And so I'm going to put a little v here for vertex, and that's going to be my x-coordinate. I'm going to set up a table of values, and I'd like you to set up a table of values on your paper as well. Now, the vertex is always going to be right in the middle of your parabola, and then you're going to have um, some x values 2 below and 2 above. So when you want to graph a parabola, first point you want to get there is your x. Then you're going to want to get an x value above, so you're going to let x be 4, and then let x be 5. And you're going to want to get two values below the vertex, so I'll go ver for vertex. And then here you're going to want to get x, let x be 2, and let x be 1. Now the question is, how do you get those y values? Well, you can see how to find y. To get your y values, you just take your x values, you square them, you multiply them by negative 1, you add 6 times whatever your x value is, then you add 2 to it. So let's go ahead and get the y value of the vertex. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So if I take that value of 3, let's go up here, and let's plug it in. We're going to say y is equal to negative 1 times, let x be 3, squared. Oops, let me fix that. That didn't work out. Okay x squared um, plus 6, our x is 3, plug that in, x is 3 plus 2. Okay, let's go ahead and do the math on there. You got a negative 3, or you got 3 squared. You got to square 3 first, right? Order of operations say you got to do exponents before you multiply. So you got to square that 3 first. So 3 squared is 9. 9 times negative 1 is negative 9, right? And then negative 9 plus 18, right? 6 times 3 is 18, plus 2. Now negative 9 plus 18 is 9. 9 plus 2 equals 11. Okay, so now 
I have the y coordinate of the vertex. And if I go over to my graph and I go, okay, there's one, two, three, four, five, set it up right there on your x axis. Then I got to go up here to my y axis and I got to count up 11. Okay, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And there's the top of the birthday cake. It's at the point three, eleven. Now I wonder what the rest of the parabola looks like. I know the top of the parabola, if that's where you want to hit it on Angry Birds, you're going to have to hit it at the top of the parabola, right, at the vertex. So this is my vertex point. And the whole parabola is going to be symmetric around the vertex, so let's get some other points as well. Let's let x be 4. Okay, so you're going to plug back in. Do it again. you got negative 1 times, now let x be 4. 4 squared plus 6 times 4 plus 2. Okay, again, you got to square 4. You got to raise it to the power before you multiply by negative 1. Okay, so 4 squared is 16. 16 times negative 1 is negative 16. Okay, plus 6 times 4 is 24 plus 2. Okay, negative 16 plus 24. Okay, that's 8. 8 plus 2 equals 10. Okay, so that when x was 4, y is 10. So now we have the next point. We go over 4, up 10, and we're right there at that point. The point 4, 10, that's another point on the parabola. Okay, let's get a couple more points. All right, let's let x be 5. Okay, y is equal to negative 1 times 5 squared plus 6 times 5 plus 2. Okay, 5 squared is 25. 25 times negative 1 is equal to negative 25 plus 30 plus 2. Okay, well negative 25 plus 30, that's 5. 5 plus 2 that's equal to 7. So when x is 5, y is 7. So you go over on your x-axis, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up to 7. And I got another point on my parabola. Now if I start to graph it out, right, that's going to be just half of my parabola. And I'm going to go, and it's going down. Okay, where's the other half of my parabola? What well, should be symmetric, if I go over one here, it should be one right there. And if I'm here on the vertex, let me go ahead and highlight my axis of symmetry for you guys. Okay, if I, if I highlight the axis of symmetry, remember, my axis of symmetry was at when x was equal to three. So right there. So this whole line trying to highlight it, is my axis of symmetry. The parabola should be symmetric around there. So every point, if this point is over 1 to the right of the axis of symmetry, then if I go over 1 the same distance up, I should get this next point. And notice how this is over 1, 2. This should be over 1, 2 on the other side for it to be symmetric. And if this is over 1, 2, 3, then this should be over one, two, three, over there. But let's just double check. If I let x be two, let's see if I get the same point. It should give me 10, right? Because it's the same distance. Four is one above the vertex three, and it had a y-coordinate of 10. Two is one below the vertex, and it too should have a, a y-coordinate of 10. But let's find out. We're gonna go ahead and let x be two negative 1 times 2 squared plus 6 times 2 plus 2. Okay, so I'm going to go negative, or 2 squared is 4, 
4 times negative 1 is negative 4, plus 6 times 2 is 12, plus 2. Okay, negative 4 plus 12, that's 8. 8 plus 2 equals 10. So that when x is 2, y is 10, and sure enough, it's like we thought. It's got the coordinate 2, 10. And it's the same distance. Notice both of those are one unit away from the axis of symmetry. I wonder if I do the math, that's how it's going to work for 1 as well. So let's go ahead and let's try it out. We're going to say, okay, what about when y, what's y going to equal when x is 1? So you get negative 1 times 1 squared plus 6 times 1 plus 1, right, plus 2. Okay, 1 squared is 1 times negative 1 is negative 1 plus 6 plus 2. Well, negative 1 plus 6 is 5. 5 plus 2 is 7. Okay, so when x is 1, y is 7, and look, it's the same as when the x coordinate was 5. Look at this point. Now I have the point 1, 7. Notice it's 1, 2 distance away from the axis is similar to the left. If you were to go that same distance, 1, 2, to the right of the axis of symmetry, it should be the same height. And that's because parabolas are symmetric. And if I were to connect up my parabola, there it is, right? So you can see when you graph a parabola, it is symmetric. Oops, and I'm not drawing it very straight, but you can try your best to draw it nice and curvy, right? Because parabolas really are a nice curve right here. So the points on a parabola are symmetric around the axis of symmetry. So we are symmetric around the axis of symmetry. Right? So there you go. That's how you graph a parabola. And if you want to hit the top of that birthday cake to win at Angry Birds, you surely better know how to find the vertex. Again, the way you find the vertex is you find the axis of symmetry, because that's the key to the whole graph. Finding the axis of symmetry with your equation opposite of b over 2a. You plug in for opposite of b over 2a. You get your first x-coordinate, and then you put that x-coordinate over here, and plug into your equation to get the corresponding y value, and you get your vertex 311. The rest of the graph is symmetric around the axis of symmetry. I hope that gave you one more tip on how to win at Angry Birds. All right, see you in the next session.